guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today we are gonna be testing out makeup made for mermaids. Okay, listen, I just wanna say something straight off the bat. I know I've been getting a lot of comments saying, oh, I hate you in bangs, you look bad in bangs, I don't like it when you wear your bangs, I don't like the bangs, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something, listen, if you don't like the bangs, don't look at my face. I like these clip-on bangs. I think they're a fun little accessory that I like to add just for a little bit of a pizzazz. Like sometimes I'm feeling the bangs. The bangs make me feel a little bit more sassy, a little bit more like, well, it's good. <laughs> but yeah, um, I personally really like the bangs. I think they're a little cute touch to my look. Um, obviously, they're just fake clip-on bangs, so they're not here forever. Uh, let me just say something. Don't let anybody tell you how to feel about how you look. I've gotten more comments about the way my eyebrows look, about the way my nose looks, about the way my lips look, about how bad I am at contouring, blah, 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 this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. And <clears throat> to be honest, that stuff just goes right over my head. I don't even notice it. And I kind of just got accustomed to really loving myself for the way I look and not taking those comments to heart. And I kind of want to, you know, kind of preach that to you guys too. Like, if anybody says something about the way you look, don't listen to them. Because if you feel good with how you are, with, you know, what you got going on, then just tell them bye, like bye, swerving on you forever. Um, just stay confident with who you are. Okay, now that that little pep talk is over, let's actually try out some makeup that's made for mermaids. Well, I don't, it's not made for mermaids, but it's the mermaid collection from Lime Crime. So I got the Moonlight Mermaid Collector set, and that includes the highlight palette, and then it also includes the three mermaid velvet teens that, the little, the little mermaid bundle velvet teens. So, let's go ahead and do some swatches. First, I wanna talk about this highlighter. I have the first highlighter that they came out with. Hold on, let me find it really quick. What did I do? So, this is the mermaid highlighter one, and this was their original opal highlight. Same packaging, except like different, different uh, packaging. Um, I can tell you that I haven't used their original highlighter just all that much. Just because uh, usually in the summer I'm a little bit more tan than I am in the winter and these highlighters kind of have a very white sheen to them. So I feel like these highlighters are better for either really, really pale people like myself, just not in the summer, or fair tone, medium tone people in the winter when they're not their summer color because they are such white highlighting shades. So that's the only reason I haven't used this palette all that much. Um, but as for this one, y'all, these colors are crazy. Look at this. We got a purple, we got a pearly, peachy kind of shade, orange, peach shade, and then we have a blue one. So. Honestly, the packaging is so stinking cute. The packaging is everything, but y'all, it's about it's about it's it's about the product. So let's do some swatches. First, we have shell, then pearl, and then mermaid. Yeah, mermaid. The blue one is mermaid. Okay, first of all, that pearl one in the middle is such a beautiful white, pearly, pearlescent <laughs> color of highlight, which is absolutely beautiful. And then you have the two irregular type highlighting colors, which is this blue teal one, and then you also have this purple shade, which is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I can, I can already see these two colors like in highlighting my brow bone and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my A23 Anastasia brush. Oh my 
do you see that I don't know if it's picking up on camera but that is the most gorgeous light blue sheen to my skin like it's not like a streak of blue but if you blend it just right you can get that beautiful blue sheen so moving on to the velvet teens it's in the classic red packaging the classic lime crime velveteen packaging so it looks like the shades of lipstick go with the shades of highlighter so we have a purple one a peachy type orange one and then we have a blue one just like how this highlighter palette is set up okay so this is the first one called seashell bra and honestly it's not like it's not like full coverage like all right I'm done let's go out I kind of feel like this is a really pretty lip topper like maybe do a purple matte lip first and then put this over top to make that really cool metallic look honestly I don't like the look of this on its own Honestly, with this one, I probably would go with something like the Jeffree Star shade Deceased, which is kind of a purpley toned nude shade, and then put this over top just in the center of my lips just to get that kind of dimension going. But I don't think I would wear this on its own just because I don't really like the look of metallic lips on their own. Um, but other than that, it's pretty pigmented just for, you know, what I would want it for, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is the next shade called Siren, and as you can see, it's not full, full coverage, like I can see through to my lips, but it's a nice, even coverage where it's kind of like, you know what, this actually looks really good on its own because it's an even coverage, but it like still works with the color of your lip. Does that make sense? I don't know. I kind of like the look of this, but then again, I would also put this on top of a nude lip color just in the middle to like make it show pop in. You know what I mean? Um, but this one I actually would wear all over the lips and call it a day just because I like how it looks with my natural lip color underneath. So last but not least, let's try on the blue one. Okay, so this is the last shade, and it is called Mermaid's Mer, Mer, Mermaid's Gr Grotto Grotto Grotto. I don't know. It's whatever. But just like the other two, it's kind of very sheer, and you can see straight through to my lips. But it's the same scenario. I would put this as a lip topper, or you know, use this for like an eye look or something. I don't know. All I know is that I don't think these were made to be very, very pigmented just because they're kind of out of the ordinary colors. I feel like they were meant to, I don't know, let me look. So on the website it says can be worn on their own or as a topper. And honestly, I feel like these are more, these are better for being lip toppers just because they're not extremely opaque. Like they're not, they're not like the liquid matte formula that Velveteens usually are. These are like some sparkly, shimmery top coat, lip toppers. So honestly, because it says that they're also lip top, like they're just supposed to be lip toppers on there, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow them to bits because they're supposed to be lip toppers, okay? Okay. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below to become part of the hashtag Joby Squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But before I go, let me put on some meme shades. Honestly, I'm kind of digging this, this look, like the checkered glasses, my checkered shirt, this blue lip, these like blue silvery eyes, my bangs, like, I'm over here bu buying it. Bu-buh-buh-buh-buh-buh-buying it. Right, bye guys. <laughs>